businesses sometimes need additional finance to start, operate and grow. This is an overview of business finance and the options available to you. We'll help you decide which is the best type of finance for you, whether you're thinking of starting a new business or need finance to help your business grow. All businesses will need to get some sort of finance from somewhere at some point. If you're a new business, you'll probably need finance to help you set up. How much will depend on whether you're going to need things like business premises, machinery or equipment. Maybe you'll need to buy stock or parts. What about employees? You'll probably have to get promotional leaflets and advertising sorted out. And maybe a website. Then there are all the usual day-to-day -day costs of running the business to bear in mind, like your bills, stationery, fuel if you have a vehicle, and so on. If you're already set up and running a business, you're likely to need finance to help cover the times when you're expecting a payment but need to pay your staff, for example. You might want to make some improvements to your premises, or you may need to replace equipment unexpectedly. If you're a business that's been trading for a while and is now growing, you'll generally need finance to pay for the cost of expansion. This can include things like having to order in more stock to deal with increasing sales. Another common reason for finance at this stage is the need to move to larger premises, buy new equipment to produce more of what you're selling, or even to buy out other businesses. Some business funding is often only required for a short term, like needing to use an overdraft facility to cover the purchase of stock so that you can meet a large order. Or, if you're a new business, you might need to use your overdraft to cover you for the first few months before the money starts coming in. You might need medium-term finance, like taking out a loan to buy a vehicle. More long-term finance is for things like buying business premises, in which case you are looking at taking out a commercial mortgage. To be able to secure any type of business finance, you'll often need a good credit history, although there are other options available if you don't have this. Let's look at the main options available, as either short-term, medium-term or long-term finance. Short-term finance is things like overdrafts, trade credits and factoring. Trade credits are when a supplier delivers goods but is willing to wait a short period before payment. The supplier will usually state when you have to pay, such as 28 days after delivery. Factoring is more complex and involves selling your invoices to secure money from a bank rather than waiting for payment from customers. When we're talking about medium-term finance, we mean things like loans and higher purchase agreements, which are usually paid back over a few years, three to five, for example. And long-term finance is things like mortgages, loans with longer payment periods of 10 years or more. All businesses will have different funding needs, and those needs will be different at different times of your business's life. Some types of funding are better suited to certain needs. And not all the options we've mentioned will be available to every business. There are, of course, pros and cons with each option. Let's look at some of those now. One example is that, to secure a bank loan, you might have to come up with some of the money yourself. This might be as much as half of what you need, and the lender will then match that amount. It might also be harder to get a bank loan if you're a new business, with no track record and you have to provide some kind of guarantee or security that you will repay the money. This is often something like your home or business assets. If you don't meet your payments, there's a possibility the lender could close you down or seize assets. But, on the plus side, repayments will be regular and straightforward, so you'll be able to plan and budget for them. And with a bank loan, interest rates are often less than you would pay to have an overdraft for the same length of time. Another benefit is that you may be able to get tax relief on the interest payments. It's worth pointing out that there are sometimes penalties if you want to repay the loan early. Sometimes it's still less than you would have paid in interest for the remaining period of the loan. Overdrafts are reasonably flexible and relatively cheap if they're used only occasionally or you're in credit most of the time. They're usually quick and easy to arrange with your bank. They can cost you a lot in interest though, for instance if you reduce it only slowly over a long time. In this case, it will probably cost more than a loan would over that time. There are usually quite high charges and penalties if you go over your overdraft limit without arranging it first. Banks will often be reasonably lenient once or twice, but they could stop payments to your suppliers if you always exceed your limit or exceed your limit without speaking to them first. Just like with your personal banking, 
staying in contact with the bank can prevent many of these problems. If you're buying equipment or other large items like a vehicle, you might be offered a higher purchase agreement. This can be an expensive way to buy because of the interest, and you'll probably have to find a deposit to pay up front. For a vehicle, this could be as much as 50% of the purchase price. Higher purchase is not really suited for things with high maintenance costs, or that will quickly go out of date, like technology equipment. You can claim back the VAT you pay on higher purchase agreements though. For businesses that have been up and running for a while, a commercial mortgage might be needed to buy premises. They're usually for amounts over about £30,000 and typically over 25 to 30 years. You'll need to have a deposit of at least 15% of the purchase price. Although they're generally flexible and payments may be manageable, the downside is that the lender has a stake in the property until the loan is paid back. If you miss payments, the premises could be repossessed. To be able to get a commercial mortgage, you're likely to need to show that you have a good operating and credit history. You'll probably need to have three years accounts, as well as your business plan and references. The better your history, the more likely you are to secure the lending, and you may also get better interest rates. You don't have to just use one of the options we've talked about here. You're likely to make use of a combination of options, especially as your business develops and grows, and your needs change over time. You need to try to find the finance route that's best for your needs, your type of business, and with the fewest disadvantages.